right, let's get a little bit of jungle. I think. I keep rubbing this line out yesterday when I was doing rubbing this line out and this one here out when I was doing these all well, putting the paint on these things. Uh, bugger me for the music. Um, yeah, and at some stage yeah, I lost it completely, but I was able to look, put my best glasses on. But I do like my texture, mate. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, look at that. See what I mean? It's just like tidying up and mm. not taking that. Yeah. Because I can't actually put paint on there while that dust is on there because it'll be like talcum powder. Right. It'll be a separating the point, yeah. paint will get um, the lift off from yeah. the chalk. Yep. So how long does it take to get the chalk down? This is this has gone through a huge amount of this is this is <laughs> this area here has gone through a fair bit of metamorphosis. When I first kicked off with this. I'll try moving around. Sorry. Yes, we need. The other thing too is balancing it, mate. You know, because you've got it's a big this, piece. Yeah, I've got a all this activity down here. I've got to actually try and balance it with inactivity. Well, not so much inactivity, but yeah, mm, got to make it as interesting that end as it is this end. You know, you don't want everybody going, mm. oh shit, you all drawn to one end. That end because it wasn't as interesting. This sort of that end's more interesting because this end is so boring, though, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. It is at the moment, yeah. yeah. So, when, yes, that's why I've got to get my galvanised iron on there. Yeah. And um, I've got to decide how powerful this is going to be. This particular area, this from here to here. It's really got to make an approach, so. Mm. That's all right, I've just got to work it out. It's all just good. Yeah. And it comes together eventually, mate. They all do, for some reason or another. Moving here quite quickly here, so we'll just have a little quick pass over there. Remember that, that every work goes through that little stage where it says I'm nothing much or, or doesn't seem to have a potential, but then you stick with it. Might take 30 minutes, might take a couple of days, but eventually, or if you have a short time, suddenly it starts looking, this is what this is going, which is great. Because I had no idea how it would be, how, it was, how she was going to come out. I really didn't have any idea. I had no idea, but how it was going to be presented eventually, I did. No, 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 that's, that's, that's the... That's the myriad of decisions that have to be made. Um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that, but now, we, now we're, 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 we're getting to the point where this is going to actually have to run into, into um, contrived work, because that's the nature of this piece of work, in so far as this is going to have to be made paint, whereas this is um, stained and wiped and loaded and stained and various other mix and bits and pieces going on from here up. But we're starting to bring in the overlay of paint here. Mm. So it might be quite, quite, quite good, about three days I reckon. Yeah, three days, maybe, four days. It depends on how interrupted I get. <laughs> and she'll be, she'll be close. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. It's cool. Okay. I'm not going to shoot the other Um, we're right. This one here, this one here is almost ready to go. Um, come to the point where it's almost, if I sign it, it's finished, I'm happy with it. And um, I can then varnish it and send it off or put it away, get ready for the for, for whatever show. But yeah, if I do put a bit of paint on after the signature, all good, as long as it's good to work. But um, this one's so close, this is pretty much there, I'm pretty much with it. We've got that one there, there's about an hour's work on there to get done, that'll be all over and done with. Sweet as, really, if I think. Um, this one here is pretty close, this is almost close to signing as well, different. We've got this one here which is also 
almost ready to sign. Um, so I've got a lot of close, really close pieces. This one's early beginnings. And then we got over here, this thing here, which I'll pull out because it's a bit of a... This one here is so different to what we've got over here, but it is of a genre that I'm really enjoying and I want to, I'll go back to it and use it. I'll be in there for a while. It doesn't matter if I play in there or in this area of work, it doesn't bother me on quite with it. Yeah, um, yeah, so that's going in. It, I maybe, it might include that, um, this, this piece in the back there. But otherwise, um, but things like this, this is Breathe. So let me move that out of the way. Um, that one there. This, uh, this one here, this is the, the new breed. Um, then we've got something of this nature here too, which is, how's that for framing? Um, I love that. Got a whole bit of 15 drawings of that nature. Um, they won't go into the thing simply because they're of a t completely different genre and I might be making prints of those. And then over here we've got all this other stuff, this is plaster relief, which, which I really enjoy doing. Um, they make me models out of plaster. Well actually this is clean clay, this stuff. And if I want to do, a, if I want people to model, I just make my own models. We've got the bronze man here, he was the original idea for downtown fielding as the driver and dog. I just want blues in there this morning. I'm really happy with this one. This is this this is the one that took me until three o'clock in the morning to decide whether or not I was going to go ahead with it or not. Mmm. I'm flying this one down here. A little brushes today. Oh, I need, I need a... I'm going to have to buy some more paints before the end of this lot. I'm looking for me water paint. I can use that one. To wear the red. I don't know why this thing ends up folding up here. <laughs> right, yeah, I want to get onto this. I've got to get this sorted. <sighs> I've got primitive images and not so primitive, and I'm pleased about them. I've got to be very careful about putting them together. Probably might need a little bit of. A little bit of um, read or bring in, but basically, this is a child's idea of, of, of the structure of mum and dad, and I'm actually quite happy about it. I'm, I'm almost pleased. I, I it, yeah, okay, these will build. I'm really pleased. I sort of come across that the, the idea. Well, I'm really pleased. I like kids' work the spontaneity of kids work and especially the way they value things and you know these business mum and dad with big long legs well it's well the kids are sitting on the ground looking up often at mum and dad so mum and dad do tend to have big long legs from that view so, yeah, I do not want to actually get very detailed and actual about anything that I'm doing here at the moment. I'm not sure about his flag, I'll keep, leave, that, leave that out and I might take that, change that a little bit and grey it off a bit. So 
This is straight out of the cave paintings. Is that a club? I love it. Is he holding a stick or a spear yeah, or something? a stick or a sword or something. He's holding something, but it's... Chasing someone. You know, look at those neat, those amazing cave paintings. I love them. And I think back to the guys that might have, well, the people that did it. They were thinking as they were doing it. They weren't just sort of scrawling. Well, they might have been thinking some of the things that we're thinking now. Yeah. Politics. <laughs> Politics. Uh, he's got. He's got the biggest sword. Yeah. Yeah. I quite like that idea. I do. I do. I do. and this person's actually dancing. But can you think, I don't know where, how, where, how it is for you, but um, I, using the using that primitive sort of phys, physical thing, I, I, and I also think of Patrick Lunig and I really like his work. Um, so I, I kind of get a little bit of that feeling in there when I'm doing this. I don't know why, um, but take that out of here. Oh, he's already done. No, no. There we go, take it down a bit. Rose, um, you can see the expression in the body though, eh? The, the leg and the arms and the... The joy. The joy in the body, yeah. And this guy's just marching, thank you very much. Marching to the edge of the earth. We're looking down. Cool, cool, cool. And this one here, I might just take a bit, there's a bit much chalk on that one, so I better get rid of some of it. Mmm. Quite a lot of work at night. Mm -hmm. Even though the light's not the greatest, I do a hell of a lot of setting up, a lot of thinking, a lot of working out, a lot of chalk drawing, and um, yeah, and I just know that I'll, I'll be. Even though I might be working all day down there, I'll be back when I get back here. I'll certainly be putting some hours in there too. Yeah, I definitely work better at night. It's going to be interesting because working at, in Foxton, you're working under the. Everybody's coming around saying, "Oh, what are you doing?" And, because you're actually, you're, you're an audience participation. You must be, a, it's, it's like a um, not too display. Happy, but you might have touched one here. Mm -hmm. Might be better like that. Um, um, sorry, what's happening, Foxton? Mm, yeah, it's like, you know, people come along and talk to you and it's be like a display almost, like, it's, um, people get to talk to you and you get to see what they think of it.
going to be that I'm going to have to probably dock for that one later. Not happy with that. I'll take him off because I'm not happy with him. Look up to that. I'm going to change my colours a little bit. I'll leave a little bit of that blue there. Um, see, that's what I mean. You can take it off real quick without yeah, mucking yeah. around. Otherwise, you muck around, you'll just the colour underneath. Um, okay, I'll move into a bit of sienna and for the um Up here, but I'm gonna actually give them a little bit of a fill, but I don't want them to be too full. I think if you understand that. <laughs> yeah. So I need a little bit, I need a wash over here and take some of it out before it goes. Uh, see, that's now that. I'm liking that. With, with the, with the, um, with the, with the, um, with the, with the um, yeah, with this acrylic, so I'm putting it on very bloody thinly, and actually, it's it's very fragile until you get a get a decent coat of varnish on. Right. But boy, I love the way you can. You know, it's not the opaque drama material that people made out me. Acrylic. Yeah, you can. It, you just don't get that textural lift that you might get with oil. But you can build your texture anyway. Only oil. You can certainly lay colours over the top of colours over the top of colours and have that glaze effect. Whereas some, some people would have said that's not possible with acrylics. I want everything to be a little bit questionable. After all, it is. What is it? The way to the inevitable drama. <laughs> We're on our way to the inevitable drama. Oh, cool. Can I come too? Hell yeah, by all means. Jump aboard. I think it's very important actually what I'm doing here at the moment. <laughs> Sounds silly, doesn't it? But it, but it just <laughs> very oh. important. Um, it's just I'm, I'm I'm actually I'm right in touch with what it was I had I figured myself out, which is really good. Um, last Friday night, uh, the other night when I see for all there. Yep, we're doing all right. So I'm just going to stay with what I'm doing. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Working, eh? It's looking good. You know, look, I'll scribble in the, in the paper and maybe we'll get that because I'm not sure about whether I'm happy about the happy with her, but I'm not sure I'm happy with that. But I'll get the Pope, he's going to be darker and brown. <laughs> Sorry, Pope. <laughs> not going to be in all your white and golds, I'm afraid. <laughs>
sen on lige været en lille så ret. Men det er mega højt. Mål den lige kæft. Det er en jæppig slæde. Mere om mig, at vi lige pakker det. Tell you what I... Oh, man.